everyone and welcome to the learning letter today i'm doing my homeschool planning uh, for next week i used the school nest planner i'll link the one i did the plan with me video i did previously for the, for this um, particular plan i really do like it i'm definitely considering using it again for next year um so i'm just going to go through my plans with you so we always start in the morning with some morning cart type books um these are the ones we've been using pretty much regularly most days so this one is fun, it's a fact for every day of the year, which is really fun to do. And then we do the animals would you rather. So it'll give you um, two options usually. And it's just fun to learn all about different creatures that you perhaps you wouldn't know, wouldn't know about necessarily, or um, just fun to choose. So I really do like that one. It does make you think as it says. <laughs> okay, so I always do my layout the same. I always put my subjects down the bottom. And then I put my days at the top and then my extras category. It's just how I've always done it. I did it when I used my own planner that, I, that I've made. Um, and I've just kept the same layout in this one. Okay, so starting out with learning language arts through literature. Uh, we are on week 17. Um, so I just had to swap out to my second book, which is always exciting. <laughs> I couldn't bind it all together because it was my cores are too slim. So I had to do it in two parts. And now on to my second part, so that's fine. So this is what we're doing this week. Our topic is research essay. Um, so we have a few different activities each day. And then as the week goes on, we start having to um, think about what we would like to do as our topic for our research, for our essay. In this case, the example they've given you is a historical one. Um, asks you to get books in the library. And then it asks you to use... Uh, uh, record cards or um, what do they even call them? Index cards. <laughs> they call them record cards. Index cards um, to write down um, research topics to break up their essay into paragraphs um, and then they start to actually write it once they've completed the, well actually no that's the following week, once they've completed all their research on week 18 is when they start to actually put it together. Um, so that's what she'll be doing for Learning Language Arts through Literature. Okay, now we move on to Dragon Academy Language Arts. So for Dragon Academy Language Arts, we're finishing up Glory, um, which is really exciting. The Hidden Kingdom, which is book three. So we have a couple of chapters left, so we're right, right at the end um, of Glory. So we'll read, she'll read her um, chapters for the first two days. On a Monday, she also does do the Osborne um, How to Draw magazine or it's actually called Drawing Design Room Magazine book as well. She does that on a on a, a Monday and a Thursday, which is this one. This is in preparation for her second big project for Dragon Academy, which is to make her own creature magazine, either mythical or real. Um, so on a Wednesday, a Monday and a Thursday, she does that. Um, but other, every day she has something to do in Dragon Academy. So for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday she has chapter questions and then for Thursday and Friday she has a scroll activities and they are all in my teacher guide on her student book. So she's got her chapter questions for chapter 30 to 32 and then she has her chapter questions for 33 to the epilogue. Then if you notice it says scrolls on Thursday and Friday. The scroll activities are here so she'll do those two on the Thursday and those three on the Friday. Um, so. We've got a fun one this week, so she's going to research tropical fruit and then using the shopping list, which comes with the Dragon Academy printables. Um, she's going to go shopping this weekend to get some tropical fruit for us to sample next week, which will be really fun. Um, and then she's got to um, do some additional questions on Friday. Make a character trading card for Glory. That's always the end project for the book. They have to do that after they've already after they've completed their character printable, which she did this week actually for Glory, showing um, all her traits and um, abilities and such. So that'll be a fun one. She always really enjoys making those um, character training cards at the end. And then we'll be on to next week, we'll be on to a book four, which is Starflight's book. As part of uh, her language arts for Dragon Academy, she'll also do a tell and writing, which is copying extracts from the book. She'll still be doing her um, spelling um, and word study, so we're on week 18 for that, and she does that independently after we finish school um, in the afternoon. She'll also do her vocabulary book, which is all the words. This is available on Amazon if you're interested. It's my book that I made for her. Um, what she'll do is she'll write the word, define it, tell a joke with it, use it in a sentence, draw it, 
say if it's got a Greek or Latin root, another word you could use, and make up a poem or riddle if you'd like to. Um, and we use the Mrs. Wordsmith's calendar um, for our vocabulary of words. So she does that independently in the afternoon along with her talent writing and spelling you see. So this is what we do in the morning on a Monday. So I'll just go through each day. So she'll do her language arts with learning language arts to literature. Then she'll do a Dragon Academy language arts. We'll stop, we'll do maths. So this is just our Saxon maths. Then we'll do science. So we go back to our Drag Academy. We're on biomes. We're using the Nomad Press book, biomes, and we're on chapter six. So we'll read um, the chapter information. There's a video for her to watch. Um, this is where it's obviously highlighted. And then the experiments are scattered throughout the week for this particular chapter. Um, so biomes week six. Let me just get it for you so you can have a look. Um, get in there. There we go. <clears throat> so we're on temperate grasslands. So it has essential questions as a vocabulary in their words to know. Um, sometimes they have little links for you to click and watch stuff. Um, but websites to visit with a QR code and then it'll give you some activities to do. So that's what our science um, is currently. Uh, we use our Prey Center book from Dragon Academy and we do our experiments in here. We have our experiment sheets to complete. Um, and we do our experiments. And it's called Prey Centre because it's kitchen science. <laughs> and that's to do with the books, Dragon Academy. Because, well, no, why do I keep saying that? The books are not called Dragon Academy. The books are called Wings of Fire. It's to do with the Wings of Fire books because they use their Prey Centre as their kitchen. Where they have their lunch. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Okay, now along with our science, we do, do two additional books. We do Kitchen Science Cookbook and Science Experiments You, you Can Eat just because she really likes doing experiments. So in this particular week, we have cultured cream in science experiments you can eat. And then we also have um, edible earthworms in a kitchen science cookbook. And this is what those two particular books look like. This is the cultured cream one. Um, gives you the procedures, the observations for the study. And then um, the edible earthworm experiment. So I know I need to get straws because I know we don't have any. Um, and I think we do need to get some jelly as well and powdered gelatin. I just wrote it on my list so far. I haven't, I haven't filled out this page yet, but I just wrote that on the list. So I remember I need to get them. Okay, so still continue with Monday. Then we have history. We are up to chapter 15. Um, so on the first day, we read the book and do the map work and the questions. And then on the second day, we do any kind of activity or craft that we're going to do. Um, for that particular week, for this week, it's making Phoenician bread. And then we also do a little chapter in our CGP um, Ancient Egypt book um, on a Tuesday. But we're talking about Monday, so let's get back to Monday. Uh, we don't do drug friend on Monday. For art, we are doing dragon art, how to draw fantastic creatures and uh, fantasy creatures. So we're up to page 82 in here, as per our plan, page 82. And for this one, we're doing all about feathers. And that's what that one looks like. And for feathers and fur practicing the techniques. Now, because that doesn't take too long, I also give her the option of doing her Wings of Fire um, book, which is how to draw all the different characters from Wings of Fire. And then also she has um, the option to draw one of her creatures, fantastical creatures that she's made up herself into her creature book, which is just a regular black art book, which she's been sketching all the creatures in, which she really enjoys. And it's really fun to see all the different creatures she's, she's come up with. Now, this week we're doing something different. Usually on a, on a Monday on our, on our writing, we usually do nature writing. So some narration from if we've been if been somewhere over the weekend or something like that. But because I'm thinking about using IEW for seventh grade, I thought we could do a couple of their sample lessons um, for the next level that we're considering doing because we're skipping uh, 2A and going straight to 1B. That's kind of my plan if we decide to do it so I thought we'd do a couple of sample lessons of 1B and see how that goes this week because I don't want to buy the wrong level <laughs> um, so I want to see how that goes. 
Okay, Tuesday, um, again, we're doing our language arts, Dragon Academy language arts, which is our, our uh, chapter questions. We don't have our draw and design magazine today. That was just on a Monday. Um, we have got maths, then we're continuing with science. As I said before, we're making our bread and we're doing our CGP Egypt and then our practice lesson of IEW. Wednesday is pretty much the same, um, except we are doing our gummy worms um, activity, which was from the kitchen science cookbook for science that day um we are doing our geography this week which is our cgp book and we're on living things and then again our sample lesson for aw thursday we've got our drag academy maths we're doing our grasslands rest of the um reading if we haven't already finished and any activities that we haven't already done cgp rivers that's our other geography book that we're doing and then we start to do our scrolls. So this will be the day when she will do her first um, scrolls activities, which is the tropical fruit and then her questions. And then after that, she will do either her dragon or a dog journal. So this is what this looks like. It's dog lovers learning journal, all about dogs. And she uses the dog breed guide with it. She also does some of this doodling for dogs. And then she also has another book, which is kind of like um, a history of all kind of dogs throughout the years what they've achieved and everything else because oftentimes in here they'll ask you to write a newspaper article or something along those lines of a famous dog and what they've achieved so that's what she'll do either that or she will do some writing in her fantasy and fiction creative writing journal which is a fun schooling book with all about dragons and fantastical creatures okay now on a friday we'll do our second day of our dragon academy scrolls activities for language arts she'll also still have to do um her spelling um word study book for day five i didn't mention about the other day today okay so tuesday she'll do a spelling and word study book independently she'll also do it which for us is typing.com and then she's also doing um it with dragon academy so it, we should be on build your own website now starting up the book but we're not we're still on our um coding with python because we didn't start this straight away at the beginning of the year um, she wanted to do some more typing.com. So we're a bit behind in the coding book, but we'll catch up. Uh, so we're not quite on to our Build Your Own website, but that is the second IT project in Dragon Academy is to build your own website. If it ends up that we carry it over to next year, that's fine with me. Um, I think we will get some of it started before we finish for the year, but we definitely want to finish that book, but that's fine. We'll just carry it over for next year. But we're still doing our coding using Python, which is an Usborne book. So that's what IT will be. She'll do a talent writing vocab spelling UC. Uh, Wednesday again she'll do spelling word study day three it's a daily thing vocab talent writing spelling you see same with Thursday and Friday she just has spelling word study because that is a five day curriculum so on a Friday as I said she'll do her scrolls she'll either do her dog dragon or her dog journal we'll also do our unit study um, we have been doing the Harry Potter unit study um, so I just haven't filled out the details yet because I need to check what the activities are from our Beowulf Beowulf, not Beowulf, Barefoot in the Trees Geography, uh, Geography, my mind is so full of all this stuff at the moment, Barefoot in the Trees <laughs> Harry Potter unit study, um, so I just need to put what activities we need to do for that particular week, so it's things like um, that they have included, the science, uh, wizard science book they also have, which is fun, they also have a herb book learning about all different types of herbs they have a magical creatures book so it's really been a really interesting unit study and of course you pair that alongside with reading the harry potter um chapters which we have really enjoyed we got the illustrated version which is really fun to read she has watched the movie but this is the first year reading the book um she's not ne she'd never really expressed an interest in it i think you know harry potter being the boy and everything else and it's just never really remotely interested her in the past um, I actually read the worst witch books when I was a kid, um, cause Harry Potter wasn't out then. And she loved those books with Mildred, the, the, um, witch rather than the Harry Potter wizard version. So it's taken us a while to get to the, to the wanting to read Harry Potter, but we are there now. So that's good. And Harry Potter books start off when he's 11. So I think it's about the right age anyway, cause some of the books do get a bit dark. I have actually read them all in the in the past um so yes so we're reading our first harry potter book together as i said she has seen the movie so but i think the book does differ slightly so it, it does still give us some new material so that's what we do on a friday currently um once we get into spring we're going to be switching to do our chicks um unit study our chickens unit study which is from um the heritage schoolhouse um which is a new 
company that have just started doing unit studies on a homesteading theme and it's really good the next one's coming out soon is bread i don't have that yet but it definitely looks interesting where they study bread from all over the all over the world so i'm really interested in that but anyway so that's what we'll be doing on a friday plus anything if we if we haven't done anything during the week so we were behind say on one of our art projects or something she'll finish that on a friday as well but generally speaking, unless we've gone on a field trip, we usually get all our stuff that we need to get done during the week. So Friday, as I said, is more of our fun Friday day where we can, where we can fit in more fun stuff, like unit study stuff, interest-led learning stuff, baking, experiments, that kind of thing. So that's what our week looks like for next week. So I'm really excited to go and get some tropical fruit. I want to see if I can get some dragon fruit because that's always obviously going to be fun based on our theme. Wings of Fire, Dragon Academy. Um, but I can't believe we're almost halfway through the year. So next week we'll be on week 18 which obviously week 17 this week but to me that's crazy because we then we'll be halfway through the year and the time has just flown by but I think we've had such a good year with Dragon Academy um we have loved 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 doing Dragon Academy it's one of the best things I've ever made in terms of for our homeschool because we've enjoyed it so much but yes I thought nothing could beat dining on science which was our magic school bus um science at, until I did journey through journey through time which was our history which we really love but this has been the best one um because these these books are just they're just amazing i just really love this author um and this only goes up to book six this series is huge we have read all of them um but this time obviously she's gone back we read them together as read lads but this time she's gone back and has been reading them obviously herself for our activities um but it's just been so fun i love dragon academy so much um but yes that's everything for our week this week so i'm really enjoying still using the school nest planner it's holding up really well as you can see it's in it's in great condition still i'll give you a quick look how i planned it out so here i had my little um, post-its where i could erase them um, if i needed supplies i haven't used this as much as i thought i would because i've been using that schedule thing at the beginning of the year of the week um, rather instead but I do I do occasionally use it and I, I think it's more pretty and decorative than anything else so it's kind of like my vision board and I feel like I've definitely done pretty much everything I had in mind to do this year and um, so that's good um so that was what my vision board looked like I do want to get in a few more poetry tea times though that's the only thing um but we still got plenty of time we still got half a year left to get in some more themed poetry tea times I love these little stickers that I got from Etsy so pretty here was our calendar and field trips i put our schedule here and then some unit study plan ideas this is the thing i haven't been doing at all <laughs> marking our attendance because i don't need to um so i just i kind of started and then just completely lost any kind of momentum doing it so any page i really haven't used at all okay so thanks so much for watching let me know what plan you use and how you're liking it are you still using it did you start the year with it and are you still using it now um or have you switched to something else how's it been going um and i'll see you in our next video take care bye for now